Hello guys, this is Jacob Holger, our sculptor, and today we're going to do an abstract landscape with like a water reflection, kind of autumn trees. It's going to be fun, really creative, and easy, I think, for you to do. And we're going to be working on this watercolor paper made by Tansen, 140 pound. I don't know, this is like 10 bucks for... Uh, a bunch. I don't know how many you get exactly? But, anyways, it's very nice. It's very nice to work on. It has a really nice uh, texture to it. And the nice thing about it is you can like do paintings one after another and just stack them. Like, you know, I can't hang a big thing on paint because I paint so much. Um, so you know, you can. You know, stack this. Now, if you're painting on canvas, um, like, uh, here's a canvas board painting. Um, these, if you, if you put this, you know, stack it um, with another one, it'll stick to it. So, that is one wonderful thing about this, uh, paper. So, I really like it. And, uh, so, we're going to start off. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, do a tool and supply list um, in the video description. So uh, everything that I'm using will be in there, the colors, and all that. Uh, right now, I'm putting down here black, buff, and bright white. This is actually Studio Series Acrylic. Uh, kind of a nice uh, paint. Now I'm just going to use just a regular kind of crappy, I don't know, it doesn't have to be all that great. I mean, this stuff is, you can get the hardware store. And get a little bit of paint here. And just put it real loosely on the paper I just want to kind of cover the paper and I want it to be kind of interesting you know like that okay I'm going to put that Clean up a little bit. I'm going to take a paper towel, like this, and just kind of what I'm doing here is I'm padding like this, but then I'm kind of going like that. So when I do that, it kind of, you know, blends it. Makes that kind of interesting. You want to kind of interesting, you know, I mean, if you're wondering, like, how do people do clouds? Well, this is just a really kind of, you know, abstract way to do that. And it's not hard to do either, so, kind of fun. Kind of lighten it up a little bit, but I want to keep it interesting. Okay. I think that'll make an interesting sky and start. So we'll take a break, let that dry. It takes probably 10 minutes or so. And we'll come back. Okay, so a little tacky still, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter a lot. I just didn't want it to be soaking wet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit, bit of black. And I want to paint in kind of the bank <laughs> of the, you know, so this, is, this area is going to be the water. And I'm just kind of painting in. Um, definition for the bank. Mm -hmm. 
tell I time is the bank of the bank of the where the water is gonna be. <laughs> and I'm going to get a little light blue. Oh I'm ready a little bit low on that. That's alright. And I'm gonna and let's see. I get a little bit of white and sort of mix that with it. And this is gonna be the uh, you know the earth that kind of it's maybe kind of a little snowy uh, piece of land there, I guess. But you know, um, making a white would be kind of boring for one thing and no, I like the blue. That's just sort of gets started. This really, you know, kind of painting very loosely. Oh, let's see what I can find. Sorry, some kind of darker blue goes. Yeah, I'll put some of that on my palette. <laughs> now, if you're just wondering, like, I, you know, I'm just uh, wiping my brush, actually, in my pants. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I wipe it, I actually wipe it my pants, and I wear the same, yeah, I wear, I, I wear sweatpants here yeah, mostly because they're just comfortable. And, uh, I have, like, these pairs. <laughs> and, uh, they all have paint, a lot of paint on them. And, like, when I go out, go to church or whatever, you know, go out, um, uh, I, I, I wear them out, you know, and some people look at me funny, but, you know, so what? I'm an artist. Maybe I can stick in a picture of the pants or something. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do... I want a, like a kind of flat brush or bristle brush for the water and I want to just... Um, and go this way with it, and then this way. This kind of creating like reflections that just sort of looks more like real, like a real, right? And we can come back to that in a little bit. And, uh, now I'm going to get, let's see, uh, let me maybe go in for some trees. I got a small brush here. Oh, by the way, my brushes are actually, this is acrylic paint we're painting with, but this is, uh, oil paint brushes. Uh, there's somebody on eBay, they sell like 20 brushes in a plastic box, all different sizes, all different kinds for like, 12 bucks, <laughs> and I bought these then like several years ago, and I've been using them ever since, and they're really, you know, easy to paint with. So, yeah, a little bit of black and started working on my trees. It's really kind of fun. So we watch the painting, you know. Now, your experience painting something like this is going to be a little bit different than mine because I paint every day. But if you were to practice, you would be comfortable painting and be able to do this too. And uh, if you look at the comment section, on just about every one of my videos, 
you'll see that people are really learning. The ones that are trying are really learning. Don't be afraid, because this is really not hard. It's very low stress. You can see. Um, so this, uh, my, my workspace just to let you know, so you know that it's not that hard to do, is actually a hard table in the corner of my living room, which is, my whole house is like the art studio, but this is where I paint, and this is actually a pizza box. Lifted up on top of boxes, it just make, brings up nice and close to me, and makes it, uh, uh, you know, really easy to uh, paint. This is kind of making a very abstract, right? It's not what trees really look like, right? But, you know. I do kind of like that. It's very nice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little yellow okra. And uh, I have this brush. It's really dilapidated. It's one of those oil brushes. It's called a fan brush. It's really a little tiny one. Like I say, it's kind of messed up, but nevertheless, it's kind of a nice brush. So I'm going to get a little bit. I want to make sure you can see this. Uh, all right. I'm going to get a little bit of my brush and I'm going to kind of dab it off with this. And then I'm just going to lightly go in here. I don't want to completely obscure the trees that I just painted in. I want, I want to see the branches. But I just want a nice light. Oops, I left the wrong paint. I do that sometimes. <laughs> I'll just subdue like nice little autumn thing going on. I do really like autumn paintings. <laughs> okay. You know, I really like the fan brush. I, it get, I, even though this is really dilapidated, I, I get a lot of energy painting with it. Um, really, I want to tell you, just talk, talk about that for a minute. You know, uh, when I'm painting, I'm very uh, connected with the painting, um, the rawness of it. Um, you know, uh, it's hard to explain, really, but... Uh, and I like this atmosphere of a really raw table to work on. It's got, you know, paint all over it, tons of texture. In it. it actually helps me create. So, for what it's worth, you can try that, maybe. But anyways, I'm going to pick up a little black. <laughs> now I use that for my reflections. Just gonna put little hints in here. <laughs> That's kind of fun, right? Yeah, I think so. And here I blend also with your fingers. And don't be afraid to use your fingers, really. And other tools. And... Very, uh, very abstract, very kind of subdued. Oh, it's a pretty, I think it worked out pretty nice. What do you think? Clean my little sandbrush. 
I see, uh, you know, little specks of blue in here, and, uh, my brush really good, and I, that, I kind of like that, I'm going to pick up on that a little bit, and just <laughs> put it in here. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see this is really not easy and if you try it, I think you're going to be really surprised and uh, be able to have some fun with it. And do me a favor, send me a photo um, because uh, I would love to see it and uh, you'll see contact information in the video description tool and supply list, recommendation for other videos, um, and yeah, and what I'm doing now is kind of a secret, you have to watch the whole video to see it, okay, if you would like a signed print of this piece, leave me a comment and I will pick randomly one commenter on this video and send them an 8x10 signed print of this piece. Um, it's nice to have like little paintings and stuff like you know prints or whatever that kind of help you uh, you can it helps you because you get energy from it and you can look at it and you get ideas and that sort of thing. So we'll do that. Uh, the all the information about the giveaway will be in the video description. Make sure you check that out and uh, Let's see I Do a lot of tut tutorials on sculpture Painting digital art jewelry making all kinds of things like that. Yeah about 500 tutorials I'm trying to upload on a regular basis and uh, So please subscribe it helps a lot and uh Give the video a like and leave a comment for a chance to get a print of this piece. Now I'll probably do a little bit more work on it before I actually send it out, but um, that's it. That's the main gist of it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be creative. Have fun in your life. Peace.